What's up and welcome back to another video here in my playlist of common machine learning interview questions. Today we're going to be talking about classification over regression. So when should you use classification and when should you use regression? You don't want to miss out on this question. It's probably a very common question. Uh, I've got it twice at least. It's a bit of a trick question if you don't, if you're a bit unsure. So, you know, by following this video, you are going to nail that job instead and not miss out on this. So let's get going. So first of all, you know, classification and regression is two vastly different things. And that's why it's a trick question. They're not used in the same way at all. They're two different things. So we're going to go through how they are different, why they're different, and when you're going to use both of them, right? So each of them had their own place and we're going to find out which of them you should use when. So classification is all to identify labels or to identify groups, right? So for example, if you had an algorithm that was supposed to have a label, male or female, cat or dog, Pepsi or cola, pen or paper, you know, you're distinguishing between finite sets here, between, you know, the labels, maybe you have 10 labels, maybe you have 10,000 labels, maybe you have two labels, it doesn't matter. The thing is, you're not going to predict some kind of continuous variable here. You all have discrete labels like, you know, male, female, cat or dog. As seen here in the image here, I got from Wikipedia, of uh, SVM classifier here, you can see you have the classification line here in the middle. I also have videos on how SVM works. If you are not quite sure about that, you can go back and look for that. But, you know, here to the left, you have this class with the black. So we have two classes here, uh, white and black dots. So everything on the left, depending on how you see it, on top of this line at least, on this side of the line is one kind of class and on the other side of the line is a different class. So in this way, this line here is able to distinguish between the two classes here that are represented as black and white dots. So this guy is classification. And if you now feel sure about what classification is, hit the like button down here to your right. So more people, you know, get this knowledge as well. And, you know, do all that. Stay subscribed so you actually, you know, get all this knowledge for you interview. Uh, so you get fully prepared. But now let's go on to regression. So what is regression then? We now know that classification is predicting, you know, the discrete labels here that we have, cat, dog, male, female. Uh, regression is when we're going to predict that response. So basically, we're going to predict a stock price, a pri you know, the price of a house with four rooms, the price of a house with four rooms, 12 bathrooms and one gym, or the length of a 14-year-old boy. You see, we have some kind of continuous variable here, right? Uh, we're trying to predict that very variable, the very price, the very number in that very sense. We are not working here with discrete values in that sense, you know, male, female, cat, dog. We are working with some kind of continuous variable that we're going to predict here with our regression. So they're using two different ways. So ex for example, if you were going to a bank for a job in machine learning, a common classification question could be to classify if a set of transactions is fraudulent or not and some kind of common regression question could be to predict the price of, uh, um, let's say, a stock in 10 days. So you see the difference there? Two vastly different things. So hopefully now you feel, you know, you got a good grip on this and, you know, you feel prepared for your interview here with that company going on, gonna go on a machine learning interview with. So hopefully I could, you know, help you out there. That's my vision here with this set of videos and this playlist. So if you haven't already subscribed, stay subscribed and hit the bell right next to that subscribe button, guys. In that way, you get updated when I notify more videos like this. I'm going to upload like 40 videos on common machine learning interview questions. So you can be prepared. Uh, it's really good to do, you know, even these days, if I was supposed to go on a machine learning interview, I would still prepare shitloads for that because you really forget and you need to refresh your memory. And if you want to stay tuned with our community and chat with us and chat with me, if you have questions, whatever, uh, join us on our Slack community. We have a Discord community as well, but we mostly hang out on Slack and, you know, go from Slack to Discord. Uh, you have the link for that invitation down here to that channel that is uh, in the description of this video. So go ahead, press that, get going uh, so we can communicate more, guys. You have a lot of machine learning enthusiasts there and some blockchain enthusiasts as well. It's a good place to find new friends. And as always, have an absolute amazing day. Hope you learned something new and I'll talk to you soon again.